Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create these DIY wine labels. These make really excellent gifts. If you're in a pinch, if you uh, have a time crunch going on and you need a quick gift for a bridesmaid, for um, a birthday, any special event, you can just customize these really quickly on your computer, print them out and add them to your favorite bottle of wine. These are a huge hit and there's no waiting for you know having to order them and wait for shipping you can just do this right at home from your computer and print them out so let's go ahead and get started what i'm going to be using today is the pic monkey app and it's a free app that you can use to edit any kind of photo now the wine label template that i'm going to be using today is going to be um, linked down below in the description box and here it is it's a plum floral wine label template you can see that there are four wine labels on this sheet it's an eight and a half by eleven inch sheet and once you're done customizing it to say whatever you want it to say you're just going to save it to your computer or your phone and you print it out on regular label paper um, you can get label paper from anywhere you can order it from amazon you can buy it at walmart um, Avery makes great label paper, but there are several brands to choose from and it's really inexpensive. So again, let's get started and I will leave the link down below to where you can download this template. So what you're going to do now that you have it up is you're going to click on the edit button down at the bottom. And you're going to be presented with several options at the bottom of the screen. As you can see, I'm kind of scrolling back and forth. You're going to choose the text option and you're gonna add text. So these can say whatever you want them to say. It can be birthday, wedding. So I'm gonna have these be for a bridesmaid proposal. These are really popular as a bridesmaid gift. You just get the favorite, their favorite bottle of wine and you add their name and you say, you know, will you be my bridesmaid or maid of honor? So let's go ahead and type a name. Let's just say, um, let's just say Brianna. We're going to put a comma then you're going to hit done in the upper right hand corner and you're just going to move it around with your finger it's a touch screen effect and at the bottom you're going to choose your font and your color and all of that so let's go ahead and click on font at the bottom of the screen and i want the name i want her name to be more of a fancy font so as you can see there's so many to choose from here um let's try this one no, let's try this one now. There's so many. Let's try, there's one, I think it's called Great Value. Is it here? No, I don't see it. Okay, let's try Bombshell. I always like Bombshell. So there you can see it's changed the font and it's too big. So what you're going to do is you're just going to... Um, click on the font and you can squeeze it with your fingers you know pinch zoom just like you would a photo when you're zooming in and out of a photo that's what you do on the font so then you're going to center it to where you want it and now we're going to add more text and because there's four labels to 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 each sheet there's four labels i'm just going to show you how to do two of them but it's the same technique for all four labels so I'm gonna click on the name and um, okay. Click the upper right hand check mark in the corner and then you're gonna go down to the bottom and click on text again. And let's do another name, let's do Michelle comma click done in the upper right hand corner you're going to scoot it down to your next label choose the font we'll use bombshell for these and then pinch zoom until it's the size that you want it to be you just kind of move it around until it looks exactly how you want it to look now we're going to add the text button again down at the bottom and this time we're going to do the message which is going to be will you be my that's the first line okay and I'm going to choose 
this font and I'm going to make it smaller. Still needs to be smaller than that, like maybe right there. check mark and we're going to add one more and this is going to say bridesmaid you can do any title you can do maid of honor whatever you want it to say it can say happy birthday it can say bride tribe there's so many different things that you can have this say i'm going to use the same font just a little bit bigger and pinch it until it fits the label you just play around with it until you're happy with the way it looks. Play with different colors and fonts. Okay, so there we go. Michelle, will you be my bridesmaid? And then you're going to just use that same technique of adding text to this and centering it with your finger. You're going to do that for all four labels. So once you have all these labels filled in, using the technique I just showed you, you're going to click the right hand, upper right hand corner, the check mark. And then you're just going to click save in that same upper right hand corner and you're going to save it wherever you want to save it like to your if you want to uh, save it to your photo gallery on your phone you're just going to click photos and it's just going to say you know that was magic or whatever message it gives you to let you know that it was saved successfully and that is it you guys these labels are super cute really popular takes just a few minutes to do and again all you need to do is print them out on label paper if you don't have your own um, color printer at home that you can use you can have them printed somewhere else like I know for a fact that uh, office max you can print have them print anything on adhesive label paper and it's like a dollar something for the sheet so each label only costs you like less than 50 cents and then you just apply it like a sticker you just peel it off and Put it right on your favorite bottle of wine and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will link down below where you can download these templates. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.